Hey there everybody, Robert Taylor here with a um, an update on what I will be doing uh, with this channel. Uh, thus far, my material that you see here, um, I've completed all the videos and I'm continuing on with the next set of series. Um, I say set because I'm going in two paths. From now on, on Tuesdays, we'll be continuing on with materials and uh, Thursdays will be mechanics. Um, so for the path that we're taking with the materials, uh, first we're going to set up RVT. Uh, for those that don't know what that is, it's Runtime Virtual Texture. Um, <clears throat> and after we get that set up and working, we will then uh, make our own static mesh material. Uh, because when you're in your own project, I'm sure everyone has seen this, when you buy a new uh, set, um, you know, asset that has a bunch of static meshes, everyone has their own material set up. And it's either you have to figure out and learn their material setup for each different asset pack you have, or you simply use your own, which has all the features that you want and you need, and you can turn on and turn off um, what features you are able to use based off of the uh, texture maps that they've provided for you with the asset. Um, <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to be going into uh, this cool little feature here uh, that I've been uh, that I've shown off before. Uh, as you can see, the landscape is changing dynamically in runtime. Uh, we're going to get that set up. Uh, so think uh, seasons or uh, or the weather or there's a plague that's spreading uh, slowly over time. Uh, you can also think of like when it's raining so that it's only wet, wet underneath the clouds and it, the, the wetness is moving based off of that. Um, or if you've played games like World of Warcraft where you have enemies that as they're walking around, the landscape uh, material around them is, you know, diseased. Uh, so we're going to be doing things like that. And that will be a very long process. So throughout it, I'll be adding little tidbits of other material, uh, mini tutorials uh, to help break up the, the mon mundaneness of it and help uh, provide m more uh universal content that everyone can utilize material-wise. Um, and once we're done with all that, uh, we'll obviously be adding ice and what and whatnot, and just seeing what we can do with materials, not just with landscapes, but with anything else, because everything I'm teaching you in the material side of things uh, can be used in the non-landscape side. Um, <clears throat> so with people and with rocks and with trees and with animals and with houses, whatever, um, which now leads me to, uh, side two of this coin, which is the mechanics. Um, <clears throat> I will be utilizing mechanics, uh, throughout my journey and, uh, there's a lot of mechanics that I necessarily don't have to make and that's because I've I have found myself in a fortunate financial place to where I can uh, skip steps because um, I'll be using uh, assets like a sense combat framework for my combat and whatnot. Uh, but there are some things that aren't provided, which is fine, um, that are generally found in um, what's what I'm looking for in RPGs and in other video games. Uh, so I have a little sneak peek on the first few mechanics that we'll be doing um, because you know. I already have them set up, and uh, then let you know what I'm doing. Going to be going from from that point. Uh, so the first thing that I created was a um, universal interaction component uh, that you can place on the player um, or players, whatever you choose. You can set it up for first person, third person, or top down, two point five, whatever. I have it all set up, and we'll be showing how to use that. Um, it works with Zoom. Uh, so if I come over here to this, where once I get close enough, you'll see that it highlights and it tells me to press E uh, to touch the statue. Um, and when I zoom out, it stays. When I zoom in, it doesn't get any closer. And as you can see, I can go from third to first person. Uh, and we'll be setting all of that up with the interaction component so that it works universally. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is set up a fast travel system. You see them all over in many, many, many video games. Um, and I set up a component that you can attach to things, whether it's the player or a book or a map for those that want to use it in the map type of sense, or a statue. 
our person. So we'll be setting it up to um, when we have this, as you know, I, I like showing this. Everything is slowed down. If I get too far away, it closes it. And then I can open it back up again. Um, so if I do statue next to block, puts me to the statue next to this block, which shows here, press E to move the cube. I can have it to where it goes up, and then when I let go of E, it goes down. Uh, so if you're wanting to move things around that way, you can, uh, which we'll get into down the road. Um, and then as you can see right here, press E to touch the statue. So the action and what it is changed based on what it is. Now I'm just going to click statue, and it's going to bring me over here. Uh, and then as far as a person goes, we're going to set it up to where it is all based off of once they activate the statue type of thing. Uh, but for now, what I'm showing is it doesn't matter who it is, what it is. It will change the location depending on your own rules and parameters. And this is all done within the uh, fast travel component. Um, something else that I'm not sure if you noticed, so I'm going to make sure uh, that I point it out now. When I teleport to the broken statue, you'll see my camera position change. So it puts me in a str uh, looking straight behind the character um, based off of where this arrow is pointing. Um, and that is also the location where they're teleported to. Um, after that, we're going to be doing a targeting uh, lock-on targeting system. Uh, that can will then add on the um, you know targeting specific body parts. Um, <clears throat> that way, uh, the player can utilize uh, and you as the user can utilize that function for those that want it. Um, and then we'll be going into things like uh, combat systems and ability systems and um, you know other traversal systems, so rock climbing and things like that. De I'm going to be doing thing uh, the mechanics based off of what I see. There's not a lot of content on, um, so this is the priority order. What there's not a lot of content on, uh, things that are um, a unique way for a content that can already be found throughout YouTube. Um, what you as my viewers would like to see. Um, so if there's a mechanic that you're not finding anywhere and you just can't figure it out, let me know and I'll make sure that gets there. And then content that you can find you know everywhere and it really doesn't matter if i place it or not um essentially i'm showing you the journey of creating my assets as um i will need them um because i will soon be starting a devlog which will show up on mondays uh once that does start it probably won't start till january um going over my journey of creating my role-playing game uh, which I'll be, like I said, using a sense combat framework. So for uh, those that um, do have it or plan on getting it or aren't sure if they want to get it, I'll be going through in-depth learning that um, amazing framework. Um, and then any other assets that I will be utilizing, I'll be doing uh, short videos on those as well uh, to help people better understand what I'm using <clears throat> because as a video game designer, um, the rules are a bit different than video game developers. Designers utilize the tools that they have been given, and in my case, that I have purchased, uh, to create a game. Um, and every asset that I purchase, you'll see that I'll be making a lot of changes to them as I progress, because the way that these assets should be utilized is as a frame, as a point of reference, where to start and change it to fit your game, not change your game to fit the asset. Uh, so I'll be showing how to get all that set up and making everything work together beautifully. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching, and if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, please feel free to leave a comment or join my Discord. Please make sure you like and subscribe uh, so that you can keep updated on all of my videos that will be coming in the future. Thanks. Bye.